big theological discussion in your mind and wondering, how come the Archbishop's wearing green and the other's wearing gold? Who's right? Who's wrong? We're both right. It's the week of Pentecost, and I wore the green vestments. I usually wear gold for these celebrations, uh, given the significance of the occasion, the jubilarium, but also this set uh, was gifted to me by the Brazilian sisters here in Box James. So I wanted to see if it met your approval. Okay. <laughs> what a glorious day, a special day today. Even the sun came out, warming up a bit. It's an inspirational, inspired occasion for all of us. We've gathered to celebrate, celebrate really gratitude. Gratitude for, on the occasion of the 50th Jubilee, of the Brazilian sisters. Sister Frances Bocaccia, Sister Rose Anna Bocaccia, and Sister Alba Marie Parina. Uh, uh, and we celebrate this uh, gratitude in this end, end in the first week of Pentecost, commemorating the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles and all, all those who have gathered in that upper room. It was, it was the birth of the church. All of them were inspired. To, to go ahead, to, to go and evangelize with joy, with enthusiasm, with courage, with hope into the world. And we heard in the Gospel reading that was selected that the women were told not to be afraid, to go quickly to tell the disciples that Jesus had been raised from the dead. And the women went quickly from the tomb. No hesitation. Fearful? But yet overjoyed, running to tell the disciples what they had been told. Fifty years ago, two sisters from, from the Bukhansha family, Francis, born in Germany, and Rose Anna, born in Ukraine, entered the order of the Sisters of St. Basil of the Great in Argentina. And Olga Marie from Hina, born in America, entered the order of Sisters of St. Uh, uh, same days to the great here in Fox Chase. Like the women who were greeted on that first Easter morning by the angel and then by the risen Christ, these three young, hope filled women were called by God to go and tell the world about Jesus Christ, not to be afraid. And they entered their respective communities, fearful, I'm sure, of what is going to be. What's waiting for them? Will I be able to do this? but overjoyed at finding the courage to be able to respond and trust yourselves in the Lord. And thus, then those young women in the Gospel reading, these women began a life of telling the world about the risen Christ. With great haste, hurry, inviting others to know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Sister Frances Bukacic's ministry began with the ministry of responsibilities, responsibilities and an orphanage in Argentina, operated by the sisters, and also ministering to the elderly and teaching catechism. And she transferred to this uh, community the love of Jesus' love of humanity province in Fox Chase in 1985, and continued to minister primarily as a teacher in various schools throughout the eastern United States. She also fulfilled duties of a librarian, and she had the privilege of ministering to her ailing mother. As a Brazilian sister for the past 50 years, Sister Frances has boldly taught young children and adults about the risen Christ. She has helped people to come to know him. Sister Rose Anna the Project's ministry began with preschool education of children, youth, and Canada's education in Buenos Aires and Misiones in Argentina. And she transferred to the Jesus Love of Humanity province in Fox Chase in 1985. And Sister Rose Anna was primarily involved in the teaching ministry in various schools in these eastern United States and as a catechist in the parish. She also ministered to her ailing sister in law, Karina, and to her ailing parents. Telling others of the risen Christ and teaching the truths of the faith in word and action were characteristic of her life as a Brazilian sister in these past 50 years. And Sister Olga Marie Ferdinand was born in Germany, 
but raised here in Philadelphia. Her family were parishioners of our cathedral, and her ministry began in the teaching profession in our schools. She also served as a resident dean in the orphanage operated by the Brazilian sisters in Philadelphia. And like her fellow Brazilian sisters celebrating with her today, she too had the privilege of taking care of her ailing parents. It's a privilege. The ministry of Sister Olga Marie evolved into an emphasis on, on responding to pastoral and social ministry needs, something which our church is sort of on the edge of, should be much more actively involved. Here she is, she showed great leadership. She's been actively involved in offering pastoral ministry in the primary hierarchy and in offering service for the elder residents in the Shepitsky Arms Apartments in Pittsburgh. And Sister Olga Marie has also been very active in assisting with the resettlement of the recent Ukrainian immigrants, and she has made significant contributions to the development of adult catechism materials, particularly the Generations of Faith program. Someone shared with me a quote from her, which I think reflects the ministry of all three of our golden jubilees. She commented that she realizes. She's come to realize her own limitations. Her need to rely upon God for everything. That we are pilgrims on earth. And that peace comes knowing, from knowing that one is trying to do their best. Is that what you and is that not what you and I have heard so beautifully expressed in today's epistle reading St. Paul's to the Philippians? Recall hearing. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. <laughs>